At EMC, we have been developing a technology for managing infrastructure in the Software Defined Data Center. We call this technology OnRack. It was designed to provide improved CapEx and OpEx at scale, all through a standards-based open API. This technology implements a capability to discover rack elements dynamically, interrogate and index a catalog all through a single management portal. Upon discovery, the technology provides command and control with workflows for executing provisioning and management of rack elements under control. This technology is designed for efficiency of use and supports the scalability and durability that is required for managing infrastructure in the software-defined data center. In this demonstration, we'll be showing the capabilities of the OnRack technology using a demonstration vehicle that we call Snowpack. For the demonstration, we're going to start out with a completely quiesce system. At this point, nothing's powered on other than the OnRack technology is loaded up. And in this particular case, we're looking at the Snowpack uh, interface. And this, of course, is sitting on top of the OnRack APIs. So to kick things off for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and power up the systems. And here we see the consoles now coming up. And the great thing about this, of course, we're going to see some variety of different platforms. Uh, you see the Super Micro platform that's coming up. You also see a Quanta in just a moment. And then we also have some of our EMC catalog uh, compute platforms in here. Now, the great thing about this, of course, is, is we're starting out with OnRack technology, not knowing anything of this infrastructure. Uh, this is all completely starting from scratch, powered up with no knowledge. And we're going to see the OnRack technology start to discover things as they start to power on. And once again, viewing this through the Snowpack interface, sitting on top of the OnRack APIs, we can see the element count starting to go up because at this point, OnRack has started to discover the different elements as we've begun powering things up. And what we're going to watch here now is we're going to see OnRack uh, starting to go through its indexing and cataloging of all the things that have been discovered. And we're going to start clicking into the details of that. And here we see the variety. So we've discovered some super micro uh, elements. We have some EMC elements out of the EMC catalog, and then we also have a, a Quanta system that was discovered. Uh, shows us some state, right? We're in a power on situation. Our health is showing okay. And then we get a little more detail, right? The type of cores, uh, how many core count, uh, what type of memory is in this solution. And then of course we can click into that and start looking at even deeper details of each of these platforms through the discovery process. It gives us things like uh, BIOS uh, levels, what type of motherboards, uh, who the manufacturer of these different elements are. And it's really this idea of going through a single portal, one single view, multiple elements under control, but this ability to look at that uh, data, very concise, very well managed, uh, presented in a common uniform way, which makes it very easy to manage this infrastructure. The other thing we can do is we have this ability to run some different workflows. And so that's clicking to these actions. You can see power on, reboot. And then we also have this workflow engine that gives us the ability to be able to execute different things on this infrastructure. And we'll go into more detail on this later on in the demonstration. Um, but this gives you an idea of kind of the layout of how Snowpack is set up and how we navigate through the different, uh, different entry points. And really just showing the fact that I can click into these different environments and quickly navigate around throughout the different uh, different interfaces and the different uh, systems under control. This shows the more detailed uh, data points that are available, the telemetry that's available out of each of these systems under control. So we're looking into the DMI catalog. As you can see, lots of detailed information coming out of this. We can go in and interrogate the BMC uh, we can go in and look at what the PCI information looks like in detail. Uh, we can work down the SCSI chain through the SCSI catalog. It's this ability to very quickly assimilate all the information of the infrastructure, have it uh, very quickly available at hand, and, and managed quite easily through the standards interface that gives you this ability to be able to traverse the data points quickly. All right, so... Next, we're going to shift into actually executing some workflows. We've discovered all this infrastructure. Now is the time to do something with it. And what we're going to do is, is once again, demonstrating OnRack's capability of doing point-and-click workflow management. We're going to go in and select all the different solutions under control, make some choices on what we actually want to do command and control on. We're going to go up through the workflow engine, pick out the tasks we want to run. And as you can see, we have a couple different capabilities, right? We have this ability to install ESXi, we can install Linux. We're going to pick a couple of these different uh, workflows to actually run on top of this infrastructure. And as you saw, one single click, point, uh, point click and forget, and it gives us ability to fire off and start running. Uh, that first step was to do ESXi, now we're going to go ahead and install Linux as well. And this is really about the idea of provisioning. So, so we discovered bare metal. We indexed the bare metal, we cataloged it, 
And now we're actually running workflows on it to get it provisioned and ready to actually run higher level workflows. And this is once again all about provisioning that bare metal, but doing it all through single click, uh, point and click interfaces. So this is just showing us that the tasks are off and running. And the great thing about this, of course, is, is OnRack understands how to take control of these, these infrastructure modules and start deploying the different OSs that need to be deployed. And in this case, as we picked out, right, we're doing some ESX installs, we're doing some Linux installs, and now we kick back over to the consoles. And once again, right, hands off at this point, a uh, single, single click through the interface, OnRack's managing this at this point. It's taking control of the systems and it's executing the installers in order to get this gear up and ready in order to take uh, higher level workflows. And what we'll do is we'll just, uh, we'll see the, uh, the installers running here uh, as the system uh, continues to work quickly in the background. The other great thing about this is, is as, a, as a DevOps uh, manager, you can step away from the solution during this phase. Uh, OnRack's managing it for you. You don't have to do a lot of hands-on at this point. It's just simply monitoring. Um, the technology has the capability to alert you if, say, an install doesn't complete the way you'd expect it to or, say, something in the different workflows doesn't complete. Um, it has this ability to let the user know that uh, something didn't finish. And the other thing we have also in the technology is, is this ability to go back and look at the history of all the things we've done to each of these individual platforms. It's this capability of having um, standard logging to know what the transition states of the different platforms have been. Um, and then also certainly through the catalog, right, we can understand what's been changed in the infrastructure, certainly if a hardware element's been swapped all that ability to look back and see what's changed over time. But here we go. So the personalities are now set up. We've set up uh, ESXi on some of these platforms, and then, of course, we have CentOS also deployed on some of these platforms. At this point, we haven't touched anything on the Qantas solution yet, but that's quite okay. Uh, that just means it's available for further provisioning should we choose to do so. All right, so that was a quick demonstration of OnRack and, and the powerful capabilities of this technology. Uh, there is certainly a lot more that we're doing with this technology, and there'll be more to come as we continue to show folks um, how this different technology can be used in the data center and how we're going to apply this to the software-defined data center. I uh, look forward to seeing everyone at EMC World, and uh, please swing by the uh, swing by the CTO office's uh, booth in order to see further demonstrations of the OnRack technology.